I come from a social psychology background, and so while my training is primarily in that, I've moved on to organizational behavior. Organizations are part of everyone's life, be they professional organizations, be the uh, the more casual organizations that we participate in, such as churches or uh, interest groups, we're all participating in effectively collective activity. And I do a lot of work on how human beings make decisions, especially those that are related to their professional lives. As human beings, we're social animals, and as social animals, we've developed a bunch of instincts that help us have harmonious relationships with other people, that help us promote good social interaction, but that unfortunately, within certain social contexts, go out out of line and that going out of line can lead to things like favoritism for people that are more similar to you it can lead to unfortunate responses that are categorizations of other people in order to better understand them at, at the basic level but that can lead to overestimation of dissimilarities or similarities at the higher level within the organizational context that can lead to things like discrimination uh, favoritism with promotional opportunities and mentoring relationships my primary focus these days is on individual and group decision making especially as it is relevant to the performance review process a lot of people are implementing performance review processes that take advantage of new tools like Kaplan and Norton's balance scorecard tool. Um, it's a tool that's there to provide a framework in which to interpret someone's performance as it relates to strategic goals. But oftentimes, it doesn't necessarily inform the process as much as does a heuristic interpretation of that. Heuristics are ways that we simplify our decision making. It's a, a fast and loose way to make a decision that doesn't necessarily render the best decision possible, but often enough renders a decision quickly enough that's adequate enough to benefit people. What we found is, unfortunately, although Kaplan and Norton suggest that learning and growth perspective is probably the most important perspective to strategic goals for an organization, people do not focus on that, even when they've been recently trained to focus on that. And we've also found that when they're making decisions in groups rather than individuals, sometimes those group pressures and those group dynamics can create a situation wherein people begin to ignore the information. People are more prone when they're in a high stress, high pressure situation situation to actively ignore the pieces of information and to focus instead on this simplification because it promotes harmony within that decision-making group. If we don't understand how human beings make decisions, what kind of information guides those decisions, and where those decision processes can fall flat on their faces because of this sort of instinctive heritage, then oftentimes we're more prey to the negative effects thereof. One of our more recent and uh, very interesting findings that's going to be published this fall in a Journal of Business and Behavioral Science is actually that people in virtual teams tend not only to be seen by others as less socially aware, less emotionally intelligent, but they tend to see themselves as less emotionally intelligent and self-aware as well. I love people and I love understanding why people do what they do. I saw it as a very relevant pursuit in terms of trying to benefit the social process, trying to understand it, and trying to educate the future leaders of tomorrow in how better to go about these processes and how to better the world around them. And so it kind of exponentially increases the impact that I could individually make.